That's what we've been dealing with. But look at this, the storms blowing off in the distance from Reidsville near La Boutique. Just beautiful out there earlier this evening. A few storms up to the north for sections of Virginia. But you're looking at 71. Feels like temperatures at 71 right now, so we don't have high humidity out there at this point. But we will see a little drop off in the humidity by Sunday, making it feel more comfortable. You're at 77 in Greensboro, 76 in Winston-Salem, and your maximum highs today, 94 in Burlington, 93 Winston-Salem. We should be closer to 87 this time of the year, so this was above normal. But the humidity, you know, it was muggy. But of course, it will be more humid next week as we talk better storm chances. For now, this front is only going to produce one or two storms, we believe, tomorrow. It could be spotty out there. A couple folks might see some good soaking rains as you go through noon. And at 1 o'clock, those storms get going in the foothills. Mount Airy down through North Wilkesboro, areas like East Bend, Yakinville might get a storm or two. Continue through 3 and 4 o'clock, moving east into the triad, dropping south into the Piedmont through Lexington and Moxville. This is when we could get some winds out of these storms, but most folks out toward the coast would have to deal with the severe weather watching for those thunderstorms. So you want to listen for thunder tomorrow. Those thunderstorms we followed by clearing conditions. So your evening conditions after dinner should be pretty nice. If you have any dinner plans or I'm going out around town, it's going to be nice. Then 70s by early Sunday morning. You notice that drop in humidity and highs that are a little bit cooler in those low to mid 80s. You've got general thunderstorm activity and severe weather threats that might set up right along the coast. Take a look at the water vapor imagery here. This gives you an idea of why we might not get a lot of rain going. Orange is where we've got the drier air and we're just not in that good juicy flow. You can see where folks are though over New Orleans and folks back into Memphis. They're going to tap into a little bit more moisture over the next few days. That makes it a bit more comfortable for us though by Sunday. So limited rainfall from the system over the next 12 hours from 69 in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. You're warm to 88 degrees, a rain chance of 20%. And we we'll got you at 87 by about 6 o'clock. Those storm chances dropping off significantly after that in 67 in Mount Airy, warming it to 87. Winds will be variable and take a look at this in the mountains from 62. We're going to warm you up to about 78 degrees and a rain chance right around 20%. So isolated storm chances for us along that front. We'll be watching those storms for you tomorrow and about to a quarter of an inch area wide even straight through next week. So we talk about our storm chances returning, especially Tuesdays. We increase storm chances to 30% then higher totals possible by Wednesday. But look at this so the last five days. There's been a lot more out east. This is where they've actually needed it. They've been dealing with more moderate drought conditions. Here's this pocket, though, of drier conditions from Danbury through the Triad, Moxville back to Lexington, down through Salisbury. Could use a little bit more rain in these spots, and then also eastern sections of Allegheny County, south of Galax. Tomorrow morning, if you're heading out, run for Grace 5K. This is in Lexington on Pilgrim Church Road, and you can help folks raise money for the workshop of Davidson. Yeah, great cause there. And also tomorrow night, free Saturday movie, 730 to 1030 Experiment in Self-Reliance. This is Family Film Fest, and they'll be showing Megamind at about 845. Yeah, sunsets tomorrow evening, hopefully with no storms. We'll be tracking those uh, storms and the front too tomorrow morning. So check in with us with meteorologist Carly Cassidy. You're looking at 85 degrees as we go into the evening hours tomorrow night. Perfect evening for summer on Liberty. You've got 70s out there after the sun sets, feeling pretty good. And lower humidity too. You're gonna notice this too in the mountains. By Sunday, we're talking 50s for morning lows and blowing rock and boon. Then you've got 85 on Saturday and Sunday in Asheville with storm chances there. Gorgeous conditions at Myrtle Beach from Bayview Resort in South Carolina, you see that? Those storm chances, they're gonna be winding down at the beaches by Sunday too. And you know, any time is a good time to be at the beach, I think, even in the mountains too. 86 degrees on your Sunday, 90 on Monday. And it's a little steamy, I have to say, to start your week, but midweek storm chances return. Hopefully we get some good widespread rainfall out of that next system.